You know, it makes me laugh when we start talking about protecting our children from grooming, stopping knife crime on the street, stopping gun crime on the street, and yet us as responsible adults don't do enough. We don't do enough. We talk about it, and we talk about how to save our young people, and we come up with processes of how to save our young people, but none of us are taking action. There are very few organisations out there that actually get out there onto the streets and actually help to save young people's lives. I'm over here, this is a place where young people hide weapons. Regularly I come over here to check whether or not there's weapons on there. Um, and, and we find weapons there. So this is getting out there and doing action. But what really pisses me off is this, is that the media are now paying attention to this whole thing called peer grooming. We've been talking about this for so long. Peer grooming is happening in our community. Our children are falling prey to these peer groomers. And us as parents act as if it's something new. We act as if we didn't notice the differences in our child. We act as if we didn't notice that our child came in from school, having left in a school uniform, now wearing expensive trainers and tracksuit. We act like we don't see it. We act like we don't notice when our children are able to give us money um, instead of it being the other way around. Your child should not have more money than you. That's ridiculous. But it's happening every single day. We act like we're naive when our child asks us if we can go up country with our friends for the weekend. If we can take a coach because there's a party up um, in one of these seaside resorts for the weekend and we allow them to do that. This is all part of grooming. This is where the responsibility needs to come in. We act like we don't care about our children's friends. Come on, we don't care about our children's friends. It's your children's friends that are the groomers. If your child is 15 years old and he's got 17 or 18 year old friends, shouldn't you be concerned about that? Shouldn't you be concerned if you speak to your child about their, about their friends and they get more angry than you? Imagine that you're speaking to your child about the people that they spend their time with and they are defending those people. There's something wrong there. We have to be responsible for this. We cannot allow our children to be in control this much. That's what the problem is. Our children have too much control over their own lives. And we as parents sit back and think, oh, he's a big man, allow him to do them things. No, don't allow him to do them things because your children are your children. That's all they are. They're in your house. They're under your roof. You are feeding them. You are clothing them to a certain degree. Unless, of course, they can't manage to wear the clothes that you buy them. And so they go out and find ways of buying the clothes that they want. This is ridiculous. Us as parents need to look at what's going on. We can't wait for the media to step in and help our children because you know as well as I know that the media are only interested in when there's a death or when there's a child that's found being groomed up north or something. That's all they want to cover. They don't want to cover the fact that there are good children out there trying. They just want to cover the negative things about children. So us as parents, and these are just some of the kids. I'm going to run through them again. One of them, if your child comes in from school dressed in a tracksuit and a hoodie and trainers, be concerned. If your child has more money than he should do or she should do, be concerned. If your child has friends which are older than them, you know, some of these children have adult friends, be concerned. Find out who those friends are. Find out why they want to have a younger person as their friend. Find out who the hell they are. Who are their parents? What do they want with your child? Find out if your child carries a knife. Find out if you're, look in your child's rucksack, search your child's room, make sure your child is safe. And last is this, communicate with your children because without communication, there's nothing. If you're not able to communicate with your child, then you are leaving the door open for a groomer to come in and talk to your child effectively. Groomers work on emotion. That's it, it's psychology. They get into your child's head and make them believe that they are there to support them. So if you're not supporting them as a parent, you can imagine this, the groomers will be.